How's it going everybody? John McLennan here and in this video you're gonna learn how to play You're a Big Girl Now as recorded by Bob Dylan on guitar from his classic album Blood on the Tracks. I'm gonna break the entire song down for you step by step. It's a 12 bar chord progression. I'm gonna show you the chord voicings that I would use and this is just a great folk strumming song. So if you wanna work on your accompaniment skills or you wanna sing this song, this is gonna be a great guitar part for you to play and it's also just a ton of fun to go and play this along with the recording as well. Before we dive into it though, I wanna hook you up with something right away at the first link down below. I've got a free tab sample pack, and these are some digital downloads that go along with lessons here on my YouTube channel. And these PDFs are gonna make learning from my YouTube lessons so much easier. So check that out as my gift to you at the first link down below. And with that said, let's break this song down. Let's learn how to play You're a Big Girl Now as recorded by Bob Dylan on guitar. Now this song is one chord progression throughout the whole thing. It's 12 bars long. And I'll play it for you one time and then I'll break it down. Here's what it sounds like. Three, four, So we're starting out on a B minor chord, and this chord progression is in the key of G, but we're starting on this shape, two, four, four, three, two. Now this is a bar chord here on the second fret, and I'm playing from the fifth string down. Then we're gonna go to A minor, then back up to B minor, then back down to A minor. Now each one of these chords lasts one bar. So one, two, three, four, then change, two, three, four, then B minor, two, three, four, then A minor. Then we're gonna go to a G chord, and I use this folk style G here like this, so I'm playing my ring finger and you can use your middle finger there on the second fret and then pinky on the third fret of the first string or a lot of times i mute that fifth string and just play it like this with two fingers then we're going to go to c two three four then g two three then g over b c so that's really just changing the bass note there. So one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. And you could play this G over B, two, open, open, three, or you could just keep your pinky there on the high string as well. So the next four bars, bars five through eight, go one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, Okay, then the last four bars, we've got a little bit more movement in the chords. We're gonna go two, three, four. If you're enjoying this video, make sure to hit the subscribe button and ring the bell so YouTube will let you know when I post another video just like this. So this starts out on an A minor. This is the last line you'll see in the handout. So A minor, two, three, four. Then we go B minor, one, two, then three, four, one. So that's B minor for two beats, then A minor for one, D over F sharp. Now this is a chord, I'm using my thumb here on the second fret of the low E. 
muting the A string, and then open D, second fret, third fret, to G. Okay, you could do it like this, you could do the, the D with the thumb like that, or you could also just do it like this, you know, or you could do it like this, if you don't want to use the thumb. Any one of those can work. So B minor, two, then A minor, D over F sharp, G, two, three, four. Then you could either go back to D over F sharp, but there's this nice voicing that you hear throughout that goes like that. It's just a D7, and that's open, five, seven, five, just in the last bar. Sometimes you'll hear like Bob like kind of arpeggiating and then just sort of breaking up the chord like that instead of just strumming right through. So here's the whole chord progression one more time. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Then A minor, two, three, four. B minor, A minor, then G. C, G, two, walk the bass over B, C, two, three, two, A minor, then B minor, A minor, D over F sharp, G, two, then end with the D7. All right, now, as far as the strumming pattern goes, you can play something like this. This is just a sample pattern that you can play through the whole chord progression. So that's just the first four bars. I'm going one E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a... So this is a 16th note pattern here. We're gonna play a quarter note, one E and a, then an eighth note, two E, then two 16th notes and a. So one E and a, two E and a, and that's down, 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 up. Then we'll go three E and a, that's up, down. And then four sixteenth notes on beat four, four E and a. So one E and a, two E and a, three E and a, four E and a. Then I'll change chords. Here, one E and a two E and a three E and a four. One. So there, I just do a quarter note there on B four, just as a passing chord. So I'll alter the pattern just slightly when we have faster chord changes like this. And most of the time, those are just quarter notes, like three, four, one E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a D seven. And then in the last bar, you could. Just let it ring out or add a little bit of the pattern in there as well. So you do like a, a split of the two. One E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a... So here's the whole thing played from the top, the chord progression with the strumming pattern. Try and play along. One, two, ready, go.
Congrats on making it through this song lesson. I recommend working on it four bars at a time. So just so you have like three practice points. You've got the first four bars, then the second four bars, and then the third four bars. Then go and put it all together and play it along with the recording. Before you go, don't forget to download my free tab sample pack at the first link down below. And this is gonna give you some exclusive downloads that go along with lessons here on my YouTube channel. So if you get value out of just watching the videos, you're gonna get so much more out of being able to follow along with a good tab. Thanks for your support here on the channel, and if you're interested in diving deeper with guitar, check out my website, johnmclennan.com. I've got a ton of great resources on there as well. Keep practicing, and we'll see you in another video real soon.